Hello, welcome to part two of the video. So now I got uh, also the transactions working with the Phantom Deep Links. So let me quickly show you uh, in the app on the iPhone. So now there's this new button here, Phantom Sign Transactions. And when I click it, it opens Phantom. And I have a Solana transaction, 0 0.1 Sol. And I can approve it and it goes back and it shows me the signature. And with the signature, I can then later check if um, yeah, so the transaction was successful. So how was it done? Um, I again just looked at the documentation from Phantom Deep Links, sign and send transaction. Uh, all we need to do is to open this link here, sign and send transaction. Then we need to put the DAP encryption public key. That's the one from the last video that we created when we connected to Phantom. Then we need to put a nonce again. I will later explain what that is. Then the redirect link, which is just the link that brings us back to the app. And then the payload, which is the transaction, which is serialized and base 58 encoded. And then the session, which is the session ID we got from connecting to Phantom, like I showed in the part one. So to understand the encryption, um, maybe I show you the code first. Um, I have this little here crypto hello world to quickly explain how the encryption works. So we create two key pairs, um, one for local on the app and one for phantom. Um, the phantom one obviously phantom uh, creates. Then we create this nonce. Um, what this nonce does actually is um, uh, first, let me explain how the encryption works in general. So I create the private and the public key in the app and Phantom also creates a private and a public key. And then I use my private key and the Phantom public key to encrypt the message. And to, we have to add this random nonce, which is just a 24 bytes so that not every of the encrypted messages always gets the same result. Um, because otherwise, if I put in hello world, it would always result into the same byte array. But uh, this is kind of like uh, what, the, what the British did when they uh, decrypted the Enigma machine from the Germans in the Second World War. The Germans were every morning, they were sending the weather uh, reports and the uh, British then used this to encrypt the message. So if you would now always use the same uh, private and public key and uh, every message would result into the same thing, it would potentially be maybe breakable. So what we do is just we have this random nonce, so it moves a bit up on the encryption curve, and then we use that. So what we do is we use this tween NCL crypto box we put in our encoded uh, the byte array of the hello world. Then we put the random nonce, the phantom public key and the, our own private key. Um, convert it to a string again and print it. And then what we do is we do the same thing in reverse. So this time we put the encrypted message. Then we use our local public key and the phantom private key. So that is what phantom does when we send it there. And then we can decrypt it again and we get our hello world out again. So this was just some introduction on how it works. Then the Solana transfer transaction is the new function that we have now. Um, what it does, we first need to get a block hash. Then we create an unsigned uh, transfer Solana transaction. So what I did is I used the um, I used the transaction that comes with the Gables Solana Unity RPC package, and then I so important here is that we um, set all the variables of the transactions. Otherwise, it can't be. Uh, properly serialized and um, Phantom just throws an error that it can't pass the transaction. So first we put in the, uh, the instructions and then we create a new list of the transact uh, instructions. Then we get a transfer instruction 
This one comes from the system program transfer. Um, I think that's from Solnet. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, Solana Unity program. Then um, the fee payer will be obviously the Phantom public key. Then the recent block hash we just got via the RPC call a few lines above. And then we also need to put an empty list of signatures, otherwise uh, it can't be serialized. Then uh, now we have the uh, SDK transaction, then we serialize it, so we transfer it into a byte array. Then we encode it to base 58. Then we create this serializable class out of it, which has the transaction and the session. And then we convert it to JSON, and then I log it here. Then we get the bytes from the JSON. Um, then we create the nonce, which I explained earlier that it, uh, it's important so that not every message we put in results into the same result. Then we encrypt the bytes. Um, then we encode the bytes again into base 58. And then we can finally construct the URL. So it's just the um, signed transaction URL that we got from here, from the Phantom Deepnings documentation. So it's this one. And the payload is our JSON in serialized and base 58 encoded. The redirect link is um, just bringing us back to the app. Then the nonce, of course, we have to tell Phantom so that they know uh, how to decrypt the message. They also need to have the same nonce that we use. And then we just send it off, actually. And then it will arrive back here after it was successful. It will arrive in our on deep link activated. Then we goes to go to pass successful transaction. We split the response again. Um, we get a nonce. We get the data. And if there was an error, we get an error. And then we just show a blimp, blimp again on the screen. So the user cancelled, basically. Then we just lock the data. Then we uh, open the crypto box again. Like we gaze. Um, we decode the data. Then we decode the nonce. Um, we decode the phantom encryption pub key. Then we get our own private key. Then we get the, we transfer the message into a string, which will be a JSON again. Then we pass the JSON into a proper success object, which will just contain the signature. And then currently I just show a blimp to show the signature. But in the next video, we could, for example, validate that the transaction was successful. So let me know in the comments if you have any um, questions or what you want to see next. And yeah, like the video if you want to get notified for the next video. Also subscribe. See you.